Assalamu alaikum boys and girls. I am back again with another story to read to you today. And this story is again from Kisa Kids book. And it is my Allah series. And we are going to talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is one. And I'm going to share my screen and we will read it together. I'm hoping you are having a good time with your parents and inshallah we will have our story time and i am still sharing my screen we will read our book together so my allah series allah is one and we will go to the next page and see how we can learn of that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one Allah is One by Kisa Kids Publication. And these are very good books. I love the illustration and I'm sure you're also enjoying Kisa Kids series. So if a team, if a team had two captains, there would be such a jumble. In confusion, the players would fall over and fumble. What would happen if you had two leaders? Boys and girls, when you're playing a game and you had two coaches, they are telling you, go this way, and then the other coach is telling you this way, what would happen? Can you imagine if you had two leaders telling you what to do? Let's turn to the next page. If a town had two mayors, so if you go in a town and that town has two mayors, things would be all over the place. A playground and a road might end up in the same space. Do you think it's safe for a road to be inside the park? So if there are two designers, one person would design it in one way and the other person would design the something in another way. So it would be be a havoc because what if the playground is on near a road can you imagine how unsafe that would be let's see another page so imagine if two builders try building the same house can you imagine how awful those rooms would turn out name all the crooked things you see in the pictures see boys and girls if we had two designers they would be havoc. Can you see which, which of the items are crooked in this house? You can take some time and point to the crooked items. If we had two de designers, the house would be designed with two different ideas. Okay. Two different ideas are good, boys and girls, as, that, as long as they are collaborated into one. But if there were two rulers with two minds, that would not be a good thing. So it would be a disaster if two chefs were cooking in the same pot. The food might get too salty, spicy, or hot. Why don't the kids like the food? So you'd be wondering, oh my God, there are two chefs and the kids don't like it because there are two chefs who put their Everybody, both of them are doing what they think is right. So can you imagine a place with two chefs cooking in the same pot? They would be havoc. Okay, now look at this. A school, if you were in a school with true prin two principles would surely create a mess. One might say it's lunchtime while the other gives a test. So. Wouldn't you think the kids would be confused? Who would they follow? Should they follow the first one principle or the second principle? Or the principle on the right or the principle on the left? That would be a havoc if we don't have one person leading. Okay. Now look at this. Now imagine if the world had two gods. Don't you think they would always be at odds? One might make it dark and the other might make it bright. How would we figure out if it was day 
or night. How do you, uh, how do we know when it's night? How do we know when it's day? So if they were two gods, they would be have up because you would, who would you, who would you follow? And when you get up in the night, there will be, you will see day in a moment and another moment you might see a night and you'd be so confused because you didn't know, you don't have a set idea as to when the day or night going to end or start. What if one God, one God filled the earth with flowing rivers and seas and the other one dried them up, killing all the trees? What would happen to the fish if all the rivers dried up? So can you imagine what would happen in this situation? And what if both gods made their own moons in the sky? They might crash into each other as they fly. Why do you think the stars, the stars look so worried? So boys and girls, this is the situation if we had two gods. There is only one God who created everything we know. He's the one who makes the seasons come and go. He makes the sun shine bright and brings out the moon at night. What other things has Allah blessed us with? So boys and girls, as we are at home, think about what are the different things Allah has blessed us with? A beautiful house, your brothers, your sisters, your parents, trees outside, flowers. Now that the spring is coming, you'll see beautiful uh, leaves starting to come out and you can feel the spring and you can feel the freshness in the spring. So Alhamdulillah, as you see different things, thank Allah for the beautiful things that he has created for us. We thank Allah for the world of ours, full of wonders and beauty, how perfectly it's organized by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The one and only, everything in the world says, La ilaha illallah. Let's say it together. There is no God but Allah. La ilaha illallah. There is no God but Allah. What are some things that we can thank Allah, the one and only? So boys and girls, what are some things that you are thankful for, for giving you in this life? Always thank Allah, say subhanallah, alhamdulillah, and shukran Allah, shukran Allah, whenever you see something that you are thankful for. And boys and girls, from this story, you have learned that there can only be one God because if there are two gods, it would be confusion. So there is only one God. One God. So you can read this story and keep. You can repeat the story, and this will help you. Uh, you this will help you understand that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has created everything because there can only be one creator. I hope you enjoyed this book and inshallah I will come back with another story next time. Until then you can re-listen to this story or other stories that are uh, that have been shared with you and inshallah you're having a safe time at home and uh, be thankful and uh, pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as you are home. And inshallah, we'll so see you soon. Fi amanillah.